who's your friend? My basketball buddies. Uh-huh. He's cute. What's his story? Not interested in you. Oh, I'm sorry. And what's wrong with me? Apparently a complete lack of self-awareness. Maya, I can't just walk out there. Of course you can. Not without an introduction. Lynn, what? Come on. Excuse oh. me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Introducing Joan Clayton, better known as Jay Clay. <laughs> Jay Clay. Did I make a fool of myself? Yes, sweetie. But the red carpet really made your cute shoes pop. Now what are you doing? I thought I saw a spider. Hold oh, me. <laughs> Baby, I know what you're doing. Oh, please, do it back. Look, I said I only have five minutes to witness this miracle. Are we going to take this group shot or what? Oh, my god. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You with the easy spirits. Can you take this picture for us? Oh, OK, I can see one problem with this place. Your, your coworkers are rude. Tony, that's my boss, and she's deaf. Oh. Oh. Tony! You have two kinds of people your mom can't tolerate. I know. Thieves, Thieves and liars. liars. I know, Mommy. I, I, I promise you, I will never lie again. I know. And to make sure of it, go cut yourself a switch. <laughs> what? Mommy, please, honey, I've grown. I am not. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, great. So, Todd, do you love Tony? I don't know. I, I, I guess I might. Oh, gee, I uh, guess what? Yeah, you might, honey. You gotta come better than that. Oh, hey, Maya! Look who I found out parking his car. Anyway, Darnell, as I was saying, I am training for the LA Marathon. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well, too. You know, I'm right on target, and I think I'm up to about like one tenth. So what's that, like 2.6 miles? <laughs> no. God, no. One-tenth of a mile, babe. I'm still in the run-walk phase, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, whoo, God, I worked up quite a sweat. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you guys, Monica is trying to get rid of my dog. How do you know? Last night, I overheard them through the vent. She told William that he should move that ragamuffin out of the house, and if nothing else, keep that mangy thing out of the hot tub. You guys, Bosco's never been in the hot tub. He doesn't even like the water. <laughs> oh my God. I'm the ragamuffin? <laughs> and the major thing. <laughs> it won't hurt so much. <laughs> Grab a leg. Oh, move, move. Get it out. Ow! Ow! Don't forget the pantyhose. Oh, Baby, just oh. breathe, girl, breathe. Oh, Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, now Mike, go get the mirror. Okay, okay, okay. Move, move. Okay. Okay. Listen, Lynn, we are gonna let you up, but you have to behave yourself. And if you start trying to take off one piece of clothing, or if you decide to take a swing at one of us, you are gonna be back down on this floor, lickety split. I wouldn't dare with you threatening me with menacing phrases like lickety split. Lynn, what do you think? I feel like a piece of me just died. Oh, of course. Of course you do. I forgot the sash. I was just hoping that you could give me some pointers or lessons or whatever. I just want to do more than the usual. Okay, well, what's the usual? Pretty much me just lying there. Come on. You must do something. Does that show up and get naked? No. That's all I've ever had to do, but this is my wedding night. I want it to be special. I want to participate. I mean, it seems only right. <laughs> to read. I'll just give him this book. Oh, uh, 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 I'm reading that. My book. Okay, well then get your ass to a bookstore and get yourself another one, because you ain't got anything else to do tonight. Excuse me. It's time to ice again. Alice, I told you I don't want that. Well, you need it. What I needed was to train for the marathon for the past six months. Yeah, I agree. 
Oh, so what are you saying? What are you saying? I'm some sort of dummy who can't finish what she starts? Huh? Oh, oh okay. We done walked in on some issues. Go, to it. You know what? Do what you want with the ice. Okay, did you just throw something at me? Because my mama doesn't throw anything at me. What is wrong with you? Are you in your period or something? <laughs> snap, snap. It's on like popcorn. <laughs> oh. Uh, what? Maya. Yes? Jabari doesn't believe anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you telling me that my baby has lost his walk with the Lord? No, 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 no. He doesn't believe in Santa anymore. Oh. Oh, well, girl, you know, he is eight and a half, so... No, no, don't you understand? What? He's losing his innocence. This is all because of the divorce. I mean, Maya, I was 12 when I stopped believing, and, and it's, it's no coincidence that that's the same year my parents split up. 12? Yeah. Joan, do not blame your arrested development on divorce, okay? Well, while Peaches and I were out scouting locations for my new beauty salon by the beach, Situations Del Mar, we saw your trifling husband Darnell and some hoochie eating at the Red Lobster. What? Listen, Maya, things aren't always as they seem, so Ronnie, why don't you just tell us exactly what you saw, okay? I saw a hoochie all over her husband at the Red Lobster. <laughs> I'll try to ignore how beautiful you are. Good luck with that. Now, I'll try and get us back on track. Okay. Have you ever thought about suing the city for building the sidewalks too close to your face? <laughs> no. But I think you should be concerned with the city suing you for crushing those sidewalks with those big country grape stomping feet. I, I can't do this anymore. You're driving me crazy. And the only way that I see for us to maintain our friendship is for me to move out. Because you are impossible to live with. Me? Yes. Me? You are the one who used the Swifter? on the patio. <laughs> Girl, you mopped my walls. <laughs> and if I trip on one more of Jabari's little toys in the middle of the night, I am gonna melt them all down with a blowtorch. <laughs> blowtorch. Like, I heard you. <laughs> oh, God. That woman is driving me nuts. What has she done now? She used the blue fish-shaped sponge to wipe down the counter when everybody knows that the fish-shaped sponge is for wiping down the fish-shaped cutting board. <laughs> Joan, the woman is going through a divorce. What do you got? How about housing a woman going through a divorce, not to mention the two flea bags? <laughs> oh, Tony, you gotta help me. I got a house full of freeloaders. If you'd bathe your dog every once in a while, my house wouldn't be infested, and we wouldn't be forced to live here in this den of waffle thieves. No, we're here because you completely overreacted to only paranoid freaks. Ten a house because of fleas. Ugh. Jabari! Jabari! Woman, just go back there and wake him up. Don't you tell me how to raise my child. <laughs> This is not my house. Oh, hey, Joan. Um, what's up, her butt? I guess some folks just aren't morning people. <laughs> Jabari! I don't want that type of person in my house. Oh, excuse me? What do you mean by that type of person? Okay, Tasha is a single mother trying to make it, just like me. That criminal is nothing like you, Maya. Joan, she just hooked up a stupid cable box. What? Yeah, well, I don't want it or her in my house. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Now this is your house? Yes! <laughs> How's my baby girl? I'm getting married. Eugene, I told her we know all about the whiteness. <laughs> and the Jewishness. And now, Veretta? Don't now Veretta me! I'm so in shock. I mean, shit! I'll write out this check and ask you a question. Okay. Is this, uh, oh, there it goes. United Negro College Fund. Is that a legitimate organization? Wait a minute, 
wait a minute, I don't get it. They're calling you a sellout just because you played the only black guy in a white fraternity? Yeah, that and because I only kissed white sorority girls. I mean, why can't people understand the difference between who I am and the characters I play? Well, maybe because all the characters you play wear nothing but sweaters tied around their necks and you kiss nothing but white women. And you know, I'm sure it didn't help when you told Entertainment Weekly that you wanted to be known as an actor instead of a black actor like there's something so wrong <laughs> with being a black actor. <clears throat> so we go into the word shack or what? Should I go with the black? The black, or the black. The black. The black. Definitely, Definitely the, the black. black. You're right. I should go with the purple. On a scale of one to ten, Joan Clayton is. Okay, a five. A five? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> Far away from being a 10, I might as well let the hair grow where it wants to. <laughs> Told you, actors, they're not smart, and they steal. Winona Ryder, I rest my case. <laughs> go, go get dressed. Uh, Tony, um, you cut up my dress. I cut up a Jim Helm dress? Don't worry, don't worry. I did not come here to cause you any more stress, okay? It's enough that I'm just here. Really. Sweetie, I'll just sit with your family. The hell you will? Somebody needs to give up a dress. Oh. Don't look at us. Joan may think she's your sister, but we're your real sisters. Just let Joan walk down the aisle when she has on. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, OK. Right, Melanie. So why don't we all just wear whatever we want and have a big old tacky ass wedding? How about that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are not leaving. I'm tired of having it thrown in my face every time I try and do something nice for your birthday. How many times do I have to apologize for the damn flan? Tony, it is stupid to get hung up over a birthday. Who cares? You're getting older. We're all getting older. Chicken skin! 